ancient human relative, the Australopithecus sedipa, walked like a human but climbed like an ape. This just in today from New York University. An international team of scientists discovered a two million year old fossil vertebrae from an extinct species of ancient human relatives. Let's remember that we've had many, many extinction level events on the earth. We have many types of species, even humanoid species that no longer are with us. We don't know what kind of uh, intermediary there was between apes and man. Now, new lower back fossils are the missing link that settles a decades old debate providing early hominins used either their uh, upper limbs to climb like apes and their lower limbs to walk like humans. Now, an international team of scientists from York University and the University of Witwatersrand and 15 other institutions announced today in the open access journal eLife the discovery of two million year old fossil vertebrae from an extinct species of ancient human relative. The recovery of new lumbar vertebrae from the lower back of the single individual of the human relative, Australopithecus sediba, and portions of other vertebrae of the same female from Malupa, South Africa, together with previously discovered vertebrae from one of the most complete lower backs ever discovered in the early hominid record, and give insight into how this ancient human relative walked and also climbed. The fossils were discovered in 2015 during excavations of a mining trackway running next to the site of Malupa in the Cradle of Humankind World Heritage Site, just northwest of Johannesburg, South Africa. I kindly support my Patreon accounts. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. Malupa is a site where in 2008, Professor Lee Berger from the University of the Witwatersrand and his nine, then nine-year-old son, Matthew, discovered the first remains of what would be a new species of ancient human relative named Australopithecus sediba. Fossils from the site have been dated to approximately two million years before present. The vertebrae described in the present study were recovered in a consolidated cement-like rock known as breccia in near articulation. In other words, almost uh, intact. Now, rather than risking damaging the fossils, they were prepared virtually uh, after scanning the with a micro CT scanner at the University of Witwatersrand, thus removing the risk of damaging the closely positioned delicate bones during manual preparation. And we have the uh, images of the Australopithecus sediba silhouette showing the newly found vertebrae colored, along with other skeletal remains from the species from uh, New York University, Wits University, Wits Waterland, Wits for short. Now, once virtually prepared, the vertebrae were reunited with fossils recovered during earlier work at the site and found to articulate perfectly with the spine of the fossil skeleton, part of the original type specimens of Australopithecus sediba, first described in 2010. The skeleton's catalog number is MH2, but the researchers have nicknamed the female skeleton ISSA, I-S-S-A, meaning protector in Swahili. The discovery also established that, like humans, sediba had only five lumbar vertebrae. The lumbar region is critical to understanding the nature of bipedalism, like walking on two feet, in our earliest ancestors, and to understand how well adapted they were to walking on two legs, said Professor Scott Williams of New York University and Wits University, and lead author on the paper. Associated series of lumbar vertebrae are extraordinarily rare in the hominin fossil record, with really only three comparable lower spines being known from the whole of the early African record, he said. The discovery of the new specimens means that Isa now becomes one of only two early hominin skeletons to preserve both a relatively complete lower spine 
and detention from the same individual, allowing certainty as to what spe species the spine belongs to. While Esau was already one of the most complete skeletons of an ancient hominin ever discovered, these vertebrae practically complete the lower back and make Esau's lumbar region a contender for not only the best preserved hominin lower back ever discovered, but also probably the best preserved, says Berger, who is an author on the study and leader of the Malapa project. He adds that this combination of completeness and preservation gave the team an unprecedented look at the anatomy of the lower back of the species. Previous studies of the incomplete lower spine by authors not involved in the present study hypothesized that uh, Australopithecus sediba would have had a relatively straight spine without the curvature or lordosis typically seen in modern humans. They further hypothesized Esa's spine was more like that of the extinct species Neanderthals and other more primitive species of ancient hominins older than 2 million years. Lardosis is the inward curve of the lumbar spine and is typically used to demonstrate strong adaptations to bipedalism. And we also have, of course, the uh, colored images of Australopithecus silhouette showing the newly found vertebrae along with skeletal remains from the species. The large detail photograph of fossils in articulation on the left, micro computed tomogra tomography models on the right, shows the nearly discovered, the newly discovered fossils in color on the right between previously known elements in gray, credited by New York University and Wits University. However, with more complete spine and excellent preservation of the fossils, the present study found the lordosis of the sediba was in fact more extreme than any other Australopithecines yet discovered, and the amount of curvature of the spine observed was only ex uh, exceeded by that seen in the spine of the 1.6 million year old Turkana boy or Homo erectus from Kenya and some modern humans as well. While the presence of lordosis and other features of the spine represent clear adaptations to walking on two legs, there are other features such as a large and upward oriental transverse process that suggest powerful trunk musculature, perhaps for arboreal behaviors, says Professor Gabriel Rosso of Stony Brook University. He's the author on the study. Strong upward oriented transverse spines are typically indicative of powerful trunk muscles as observed in apes. Professor Shehed Nala of the University of Johannesburg at Wits, who is an expert on ribs and a researcher on the present study, says, when combined with other parts of torso anatomy, this indicates that Sediba retain clear adaptations to climbing. Previous studies of this ancient species have highlighted the mixed adaptations across the skeleton in Sediba that have indicated its transitional nature between walking like a human and climbing adaptations. These include features studied in the upper limbs, pelvis, and lower limbs. The spine ties this all together, says Professor Cody Prang of Texas A&M, who studied how ancient hominins walked and climbed. He said, in what, matters, in what manner these combinations of traits persisted in our ancient ancestors, including potential adaptations to both walking on the ground on two legs and climbing trees effectively, is perhaps one of the major outstanding questions in human origins. The study concludes that Sedipa is a transitional form of ancient human relative and its spine is clearly intermediate in shape between those of human, modern humans and Neanderthals and great apes, he said. Berger said Isa walked somewhat like a human but could also climb like an ape. The virtual fossils published in the new study are free to download on morphosource.org, and uh, this is by New York University on phys.org. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support.